Dan coming up, starting yeah. tomorrow night against Nichols, a big game, Nichols 3-1. Just kind of talk about going into that ball game. Um, I'm really impressed with them. Um, you know, they they have three guards on the perimeter that can all dribble, pass, and shoot. Um, you know, obviously, you know, um, KJ, Kevin Johnson was a starting point guard um, for them last year. Uh, I'm really impressed with him. He's just such a winner. Um, and then, you know, Peppers and those guys, I mean, they're they're good. They're really good. And uh, they can all, they put three guards on the floor, sometimes four, that can all dribble, pass, and shoot. When they put Derek out there at the, and play small, Brandon Moore has been a kid that uh, has really stepped up for them. So they're a good team. They present a lot of challenges. They're very good one-on-one um, -on -one basketball players. Like I said, they put four guys on the floor that can all um, make plays off the bounce. And... Um, they're good. They're very. They're a talented group, and uh, they're playing with a lot of confidence, as they should be. Uh, with, with Coach Aiken having been there the last few years, any kind of uh, I guess advantage or anything? I don't know. You know, obviously, um, you know, um, it makes it a little, you know, interesting or you know, for people to talk about. With obviously Coach Aiken, you know, used to being there and uh, and now being here, it's uh, it's a good conversation piece, but. You know, at the end of the day, it's a basketball game, and um, you know it's an in-state game, and it's a league game, and um, like you said, it's the first of four at home in a row. That uh, you know we got to figure out how to break through and um, and figure out how to get a win. I think tomorrow's going to be a great environment. Um, it's the grand opening of our arena, and uh, you know I think a lot of people are going to be here and see what an unbelievable facility we have, and um, I know our guys are excited to be in that environment. How much does it help you? You mentioned Nichols having playing three guards, sometimes four. How much does it help that you guys have already kind of adjusted and you're playing with three guards a lot of the times instead of maybe playing with two guards and having to kind of adjust in the last couple of days? Um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, the, the thing that they do um, that's a little bit different is that, um, you know, they really play in a lot of space. Um, you know, I, I think... You know, again, those guys can can all score it at three different levels. You know, they can shoot the three, they can get to the rim, and they have good mid-range games. So, um, you know, two of them are obviously grad transfers and Jefferson and uh, Peppers, um, and I think they really put a, a big punch into the lineup. Um, you know, we're going to have our hands full. They're they're a talented group, um, but uh, you know, we're at home and uh, we've been close. You know, we we played really good basketball um, in a lot of stretches. I think New Orleans game. Uh, they they for sure beat us, and uh, I think we played some good basketball, and um, you know we we need to play well tomorrow. You mentioned the grand opening. Uh, have you I guess have you gotten into your office yet? Are you are you in the building, or is it still kind of moving in? And just how does it get still kind of getting the feeling of um, the building? Great question, David. We're we're not all the way officially in. We're in the process of you know moving things in, and but our computers and phones and all that stuff aren't in yet. But um, we try to spend as much time over here as we can and hook up to, uh, you know, the Internet and, uh, you know, all those kind of things as much as we can. But uh, it's a great facility. Um, as far as the office situation and layout, it's, it's conducive to getting a lot of work done, which is nice. Um, just having your own wing and, and being able to, uh, to have, you know, places to really watch film and as a team and, not, and, and obviously as a staff. Um, it just, it's... I can't tell you how much better it is uh, just as far as a, a simple work day goes. And you mentioned the crowd tomorrow. It'll probably be the uh, first time that you'll have, like, the not just the fans that have been here through the break, but the students, they haven't probably been here since, I want to say, maybe the home, op the home opener. But, yeah, just, I guess, how excited are you and the team to get back in front of what should be a pretty big crowd? We're really excited. I think that, you know, one of the big things that, that I've talked about since I've gotten here is, is to, you know, the, the obviously rebranding of the program, um, not only in the community, but on campus and, um, you know, and, and talking and reaching out to the, the student organizations and reaching out to, to the people on campus about coming to the game. And, uh, you know, we've made a, a huge effort in that as a staff. Um, you know, we moved all of our guys back on campus to try to reintegrate um, ourselves with the student body and you know it's right across the parking lot and uh, so I'm looking forward to having you know a handful or, or a lot of students here um, it's going to be a lot of you know giveaways and food and all those kind of things it's going to be a great environment and you know like I, I talked to at a Kiwanis today and I said you know the thing about the the rebranding of this program that we've been talking about is not only just the basketball game in itself which is still the most important but it's a you know there's only so many 
entertain, entertainment dollars and the discretionary dollars. Um, so we've talked a lot about what the, uh, the game day atmosphere is like, and obviously we're going to gear it a lot towards the students, and uh, and hopefully we can start something that uh, you know can can guys will come back and students will come back and uh, and, and be part of uh, you know rebuilding this program because we're going to need them.